Welcome to this session of my video series. So far we have seen class definition that contains functions and data members only. A class can contain class and struct definitions also. This is called nesting, and the contained classes are called nested classes. This is a class that contains a nested class. This is the outer class. This is the nested class. It is defined inside the outer class. This is a nested struct definition. It is also contained inside its parent class. In this case a struct is nested inside another struct. In all the above cases, definitions only have been nested inside a parent class or struct. A nested definition doesn't create an object. The object has to be created separately. As I already told that nesting doesn't create any objects. This code helps us verify that indeed no memory allocation occurs. This is a nested struct contained inside its parent. This struct contains an int member. The output of this code should be more than 4 bytes if memory allocation occurred. The nested struct contains an int. If memory is allocated, then that should increase the size of the parent. This is the display when the code is run. The displayed size is one byte which shows that nesting created no objects. This code shows an instantiated nested struct. This is the outer struct. This is the nested struct that contains an int. This small identifier is an object of the nested struct. This is a data member of the outer struct. The output of the very same code is 4 bytes now. This is the output. It shows that an object of the nested struct has been created now. This code shows that an array of the nested struct has also been created. This creates a single instance of the nested struct. This adds an array of 10 structs. The definition of the nested struct is not to be repeated again and again. Nested classes are scoped to the parent class. Scoping means that they are not available outside the class. This class contains two nested classes. This is a public nested class. This is the private nested class. 
this one shouldn't be available outside the class. A nested class can be accessed outside its container if two conditions are met. Only public nested classes or members can be accessed outside. This is similar to the access of public functions and data members. Secondly, the fully qualified path is needed before a nested class is accessed outside. The public nested class can be accessed with a fully qualified name. This class is not accessible outside the parent class because it is private. It can be accessed at all, even with a fully qualified name. This keyword can be used to give your own names to data types and classes and structs. The whole purpose is to make the code more readable. This code shows a simple usage of this keyword. This declaration is used to provide an alias alternate name for a type. Here marks is an alias for int. We can use marks as an alias for an int within main. The type definition is scoped to the main function. It's available only inside. If we declared it outside the main then it was available globally. We can create an int variable by using its type alias as shown here. This code shows a type definition for the nested class. This is the new name for the nested class. Its objects can be created with a more neat syntax. Type definitions are mostly used for simplification of longer names like here. This is how we can use the type name for creating an object of the nested class. Thank you.